So today's video, we'll be checking out a game called Moonstone Island. This game is basically Stardew Valley and Pokemon combined. So stick around to see what this game is all about. So without any more waiting, let's go ahead and begin. Oh, and only a few of you guys are actually subscribed. So a subscribe to the channel would be awesome. All right, let's go ahead and start a new game. Wakey, wakey, sleepy bones. What does my father look like? I know it's your last day at home, but that doesn't mean you can skip your chores. Come over here and give your old man a hand. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. First stuff, these crops need need harvesting. You could be in for a very long journey out there. After all, you did decide which island to choose to become your new home. I don't want you leaving home empty handed and hungry. Right then, roll your sleeves up and let's get these crabs harvested. Oh, and you could also grab the flag flower under the shore too. We do not care. Time to grow. So that's like our inventory. We have a cool crafting system, which is awesome. No map available. We have our journal to harvest five crops. Yeah, some pretty basic stuff. Okay. We got four of those. It says there's one down here or something. Oh, this one right here. A flag flower. Okay. Let's go over the basics again. Lesson one, useful plants. Remember what I taught you. Flag flower is good for taming spirits. That's the one that looks like little yellow flags. Squish is the best for restoring stamina. And aplums have healing properties. They taste awful though. All these plants are fox crops, so keep an eye out for useful plants in other seasons. Good job. Lesson two, harvesting seeds. You'll need seeds to grow more of the same plant. If you want to get seeds, you have to cut down the plant. Use your scythe to harvest seeds from any plant, even wild ones. Come over here and harvest the seeds in this plot. Boring. Well, and don't harvest that one. Get your scythe out and cut it down to harvest the seeds. Okay, we got it. Nicely done. Now take this hoe and dig a hole. When you've dug a hole, you can plant these seeds inside of it. You can also use the holes that are already here if you don't want to make new ones, I suppose. So we have this cool, like, wheel of stuff. All right, we got the hoe. Nicely done. Now take this hoe and dig a hole. Once you dug a hole, plant those seeds. All right, we got those all planted. Perfect. Now once those seeds are planted, you have to tend to them to help them grow. Here, take this watering can. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I can see how this is pretty much like Stardew Valley so far. Beautifully done. Lesson three, growing plants. Remember, crops need to be watered every day. If not, they'll weather and die and lose all your hard work. Of course, you can always hope for a rainy day to do the job for you, but stay there a tick. There's something else I need you to have. You see, I've been raising three spirits in secret. They still need plenty more trading, but they'll be strong enough to keep you safe. You might have seen this before. It's your mother's medallion. It's sort of a portal to a pocket dimension where spirits can reside. This medallion is yours now, and I put the spirits I've been training in there already. Pop into the medallion. Choose to one have as your companion. It is in a test, don't worry, they're all good. Spirit strength, open the menu. Ooh, there's like a dinosaur. Whatever this thing is. And a B. Let's click on the B. Yeah, view cards and stats. The first time this Kappa B falls to zero HP, its HP is restored by 10. Okay. Yeah, let's pick the B one. It told me it likes jazz. You like jazz? Kappa B. Great choice. I thought you might choose that one. I'm sure you two will take care of each other. Don't worry about the other two. Your mother and I will take care of them. Okay. A look over there. A wild spirit. This is perfect time. And get over there and show me what your spirit can do. So this is the part where it's like Pokemon, so we can battle with our spirits. Looks like this Gemlin has a higher speed than your spirit, so it gets to make the first move. Enemy turn. Rock throw. Ooh. Time for lesson four. Banishing spirits. You need to subdue these spirits to pacify them. They're not supposed to be this aggressive. The most important thing to remember, armor blocks attack damage. Reduce the armor to zero to make them dizzy and deal extra damage. You can reduce their armor in two ways, using a card that removes armor or attacking with an element they're weak to. Try using Bash to reduce that Gemlin's armor and leave it open to attack. All right, bash. Perfect. The bond between you and your spirit is already strong. Don't forget, if you reduce your opponent's armor to zero, it will get dizzy. Being dizzy makes the next turn, which in your chance do more damage. Now that you got two energy left, let's go ahead and play some more cards. Oh yeah, let's do zap and shock. And now you're all out of energy. End your turn now and see what this wild spirit does. Okay, end turn. So let's see what he does. Wow. Oh dear, that looked like it hurt. Just to be safe, you should heal your spirit. Remember what I told you? Applins were good for healing. Use that feed action spirit now. Okay. There you go, your spirit's looking much healthier. Looks like Gimlin's about to use Earthquake on you though. The right moves, you might be able to stop that from happening. Now use another bash. Get rid of that armor, make them dizzy. All right, we lost his armor. Now you got the upper hand. Damage dealt to the spirit with no armor is much higher than usual. Brings HP to zero. Okay, all right, let's try zap on this guy. And yeah, let's just go ahead and tackle him. We're out of energy. Okay, let's end our turn. So healing does use energy, it seems like. So he can't do anything. Let's go ahead and tackle. Awesome. We got him. That was cool. We leveled up Kappa B. It's level two. And we found a squish and we got six coins from it. Great work. One more thing, lesson 4.5, I suppose. Spirits can be tamed and brought into your medallion. Tame a spirit and you can use it in future battles. Remember to have a flag flower on hand for taming spirits. I love it. Sweetheart, are you done out there? Come back to the house. I have something else I'll give you before you go. 
Oh, this is a cool house. You an alchemist? You look wiped out. Did your father have banishing spirits for him? Of course he did. I'll make you a cup of tea, you poor thing. Why don't you eat one of those squishes you've harvested to gain back your energy? And let's eat it. That's better. Now that your dad's done with you, I want you to tell you about the medallion he gave you. Medallion used to be mine and now we're passing it down to you. Your moonstone medallion is a sacred tool invented by alchemists that came before us. Oh, see, I was right. Within it lies a pocket dimension that can house up to three spirits. The spirits you keep in this medallion will come to aid with your need and help. You can also build a barn to house them in, which I think is a lot cozier. I know this is all a bit confusing, but you'll get the hang of it. Looks like the fight you had earlier got you enough experience. Why don't you try leveling up one of your spirits? You can use that by entering your medallion. While you're in there, feed them this fuzzball too. It'll make them strong for your journey tonight. Oh, okay. So if we press Q, open up the medallion. Oh, that's cool. Nice transition. So we actually have to go in here. Let's level it up. Ooh, so we can pick between armor, speed, vitality, and power. Let's do power. Ooh, let's do tackle plus. There we go. We got him. Gave him that little thingy. All right, see you, dude. Thank you for doing that. Your father's all about fighting, but you have to take care of your spirits, too. Now your spirits should have strength that you need to keep you safe. I can't believe you're leaving home today. I'll miss you so much. But you'll only be gone for a year, right? Then you'll have completed your alchemy training. I'm so proud of you. Are you sure you're ready to go? Yeah, let's go ahead and go. All righty, then. This is it. Next time I'll see you, you'll be a fully fledged alchemist. Yeah, like I said, this game is pretty much like Stardew Valley and Pokemon combined. This is one last gift for you, kid. I made these tools. They're not much, but they'll get you started out there. Now give your dad a hug. We're both so proud of you. Got an axe, a hammer, a broom, and an alchemist tent. Here's a few seeds from the garden. I've been saving them for you. Plant them as soon as you settle in, okay? You'll need them for your... <laughs> Big adventure. Okay. Apple and seeds and squish seeds. Just remember, we'll be with you wherever you are, wherever you decide to call home. And we love you so much. I'm so proud of you falling in when your footsteps, sweetheart. You're going to make a great alchemist. All alchemists share a love of things that grow. That applies not only to your crops, but also the people around you. Oh, my darling. I'm so excited to see who you grow into. Just promise you'll be safe out there. I promise. We need you back in one piece, okay? Well, the wind is starting to pick up. I guess it's time for me to let you go. Time for the final lesson. Charge that broom up and release its energy to catch the wind and be save okay we love you all right here we go we're flying so it generates a random world which i think is pretty cool yeah right now this game is currently on demo it's available on only steam right now for pc so be sure to check it out we're not sponsored or endorsed but yeah so far it's a pretty cool game they give you the first 14 days to try out uh this game at the time of the recording of this is supposed to be come out quarter three of 2023 so in a few months i wouldn't get too excited about this stuff one thing i wish this game had was controller support right now it's keyboard and mouse but it's pitch black out we're just flying this broom. What's that light over there? Oh, that there's a town off in the distance. Finally, I hope they need an alchemist because I really need to get off this room. I think I'm getting splinters. Uh, what? Wow, this one's getting really strong. I suppose it'd be hard to stay on this broom. Oh no, I think I'm losing control. How do I land this thing? Uh oh, we're going down. <laughs> Oh no, there goes my brand new broom. Uh, and I dropped all my tools my dad gave me, my mom's seeds. I guess I'm not leaving anytime soon. Hope this isn't a bad omen. Better look around to see if I can find tools and seeds I dropped. Broken broom. Found some seeds. There's our axe. I found another flag flower. Found some applins and a squish. There's our hammer. So with the hammer, you can harvest stone because if I go on it and I use it, I can start getting stone from it. Now, it does use a good amount of our energy, but that's cool to know. Oh, we passed out. Fell asleep. Try to get into bed before 2 a.m. Okay, similar to Stardew Valley's turn. So this shows you at the end of the day what we've done. So we discovered two spirits out of 58, tame zero. We banished one spirit and we've cleared zero dungeons. Okay. Oh, hello. You're up. Are you okay? I saw you drop out of the sky last night and then I found you passed out on the ground. So I got Quill to carry you over here and I was worried you weren't going to wake up, but you did. I guess with that get up, you must be a new alchemist. How exciting. Or a new stunt performer. Anyway, you can stay here in the spare room if you need somewhere to crash. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't have said crash. That's really insensitive, isn't it? Yeah, you just made me cry. I'm gonna cry. I mean, you can sleep here if you want. I have to charge you rent eventually, though. Oh, she got the hoe in the tent for us. I found them all scattered all over the place. I hope it's okay that I picked them up. Maybe you could get your tent to set up on the north side of town if you clear your space for it. Don't be afraid to chop down trees and cut the grass if you need to. Then you'll have a place all to yourself. I guess you could set up one in the outer islands, but there's wild spirits out there. I think maybe you should take it easy for the time being. Anyway, take your getting up. Seem pretty bruised up. I don't think anything's broken. Might have some work for you, too, so come downstairs when you're ready. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Pixel art's pretty good, too. I like it. We do have 56 gold. You're not good enough friends to enter their bedroom. So just like Stardew Valley, you got to build friendships. And I like that. Hello. Oh, hi. I haven't introduced myself. My name is Asano. Osano? -o? I, I don't know how to pronounce that, guys. And I run the tavern here on Moonstone Island. Come by any time. Well, any time we're open, I mean. <laughs> I've got something for you. These nuts. It's a crafting recipe for sell crates. Build one in place wherever you get set up. You can drop anything you want to sell in there, like crops or items. I'll pick it up at the end of the day and pay you everything that's in there. If you want more recipes, you'll have to find them, I'm afraid. I hear mines and dungeons are a good 
good place to start. Since you're here, can I ask for a quick favor? Of course, yeah, the new person. Always gotta do something for you, right? I need some stone to rebuild some minor basement damage. Don't ask. If you have the time, could you bring me some? I kinda wanna ask, but sure. Thank you, you're a lifesaver. Just put the stone in the cell crate and I'll pick it up. Ask on a date. Give gift. Let's talk. Chat. So that just helps increase, so looks like we can talk to them like three times. Is there anything I can steal? Can I take your guitar? I can't use it. I wish I could just like take this and smash it. <laughs> Oh, there's some other people in here. Hello. Hmm, weird outfit. You must be a new alchemist. I'm Gianna. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce her name. I work in the conservatory. If you don't mind, I have somewhere I need to be. Uh, okay. Fine. I can talk to you. You have to be somewhere, but yet you're just sitting there. Oh, that little thing. What is that? Hi, sweetheart. Your dad thinks I'm silly for writing a letter so soon after you left, but I had a horrible dream that you broke your broom and would never forgive myself to anything that happened to you. I'm sure you're fine, but I left a crafting recipe for a balloon in case you're not. And don't be afraid to build bridges. If flying is too scary, when your dad was a new alchemist, he only use bridges to get in between islands. I hope you're doing all right, sweetie. Love mom. Craft a balloon. Wow, we got a bunch of stuff we can do. So I think uh, pretty much the intro's sort of done. Um, we gotta go build a house. So this looks like the blacksmith in here. No one's in here. Looks like that's like one of the shops because it has a pot of gold on their thing. That house looks really cool. That's awesome. I like the little map too in the top left. That's nice. Yeah, I think this is where we're gonna put our house for now. Oh, I found one of these flag thingies again. Yeah, let's put it here. We're getting fiber. Now, unlike Stardew Valley, Valley, the scythe actually does use some of our energy, so we gotta watch out for that too. All right, let's chop down some of these trees. Yeah, it uses a good amount of energy. Two very boring minutes later. All right, cool. We got our little house set up. So crafting, we need one iron ingot to make a chest. Okay, so we just need some more wood and some more stone to make the cell crate. Okay, so we can easily get wood and stone. All right, let's get our axe. Let's start getting some more trees. We didn't get any wood from that tree. Are you kidding me? What is this? It's a scam. Yeah, so when we eat the fruit, as you can see, yeah, our energy goes up, so that's cool. All right, we just crafted one of those cell crate, put it right there. Now we just gotta get some stones for her. I don't know how many she wanted. Let's get some more. Secret Oh, I found a hole and I accidentally went into it. Oh, this is cool. Found like a little dungeon. So when you break rocks, I guess you can find places like this. We got some copper ore too. This is pretty crazy. We got some coal. I think we'll have enough stone for her. So we gotta be careful right there, but that's awesome. We found like a little dungeon right next to our house. All right, so we put 19 stone in there. Let's go ahead and go to bed. So this is all we got is like a chest and our bed. Oh, we put on our sleeping clothes. That's cool. We got 95 gold for those uh, stones. That's cool. We'll take it. Yeah, honestly, I'm liking this game so far. It's definitely the good mix between Pokemon and Stardew Valley. This game, I cannot wait for this to come out, honestly. I'm gonna probably be playing this game as much as I do Stardew Valley. We're just gonna call her O. O here, welcome to Moonstone Island. This is a newsletter that automatically goes out to everyone who moves here, like you. Step one of settling in, get to know your new neighbors. Some of the people might have jobs for you, which is great because you can get money to spend at the tavern. Oh yeah, so just spend it at your place, uh-huh. That's all for issue one. Okay, meet the locals. So we gotta go say hi to some people. Um, before we do that, actually, we didn't plant our um plants yesterday. Day. Let's go ahead and do that. Cool. So we got all of our stuff planted. Um, that way we can start growing some stuff. We got some fiber too. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff. Let's go say hi to some of the people. Yeah, we got some copper. I don't know if we'll be able to smelt it. Oh, hello. Who are you? Quill. You're the new mechanic. I mean, no, wait. What was it? Alchemist. Alchemist. We haven't talked before, so I might forget the word again. Nice to meet you. Uh, let's talk. Uh, say goodbye. So yeah, it looks like you can date pretty much anyone. All of them said ask on a date. Oh, hello. Who are you? Vera. Oh, it's you, the new alchemist, right? You're cuter than I thought you'd be. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you. Look, while I have you here, have you stumbled across any mines yet? They tend to hide under big rocks, so try breaking some open with your hammer. But not the rocks in town, they're protected, and Ophelia will kill you. <laughs> what? And then just climb down the ladder into the dark. What could go wrong? Anyway, the reason I ask is I need some copper ore. Bring me and I'll teach you how to make ingots, okay? I'll even pay you full price. Sounds fun. Let's talk. Let's do a joke. Oh, she liked the joke. And let's chat again. Okay. See, so yeah, it looks like you can talk to them three times. Hmm, I think you would look good in glasses. Oh, well, just so happens I wear glasses when I edit. <laughs> Don't you agree? Um, shop. Oh, okay, so we can buy a reinforced axe and reinforced other stuff here. Give a gift. Oh, thank you. Oh, she loved the copper. We got copper, but maybe you just need more. I have no idea. Or maybe the demo won't let us do it, but we got some copper. I sold her one. We got some good gold. Oh, here's a little cool shop, but no one's in here. Oh, well, not good enough friends to go in some of these houses. What's this one? Oh, this is a cool 
cool little house. I can, nope, can't go upstairs. I was like, can I just start exploring their houses? Yeah, I, I like the, the graphics. It's pretty good. I like this type of pixel art. Hello, who are you? Oh, it's O. Oh, goodbye. Who are you though? Oh, hi, you're now. Welcome to Moonstone Island. I run the shop here and I can help you with supplies and stuff. Let me know if I can help you settle in. Let's talk to them. Let's just do our normal stuff. Yeah, so I feel like if you do chat, joke, and chat, it's all hearts so far. Yeah, I don't know how many people are here in this town. I mean, it looks like quite a bit, to be honest. This looks like a lumber yard or something. They had a bunch of wood outside and I can't go into any of their houses. They just got booze laying out here. I see this town likes to get lit. Yeah, I wish he was in his shop so I could buy some stuff or see if we could sell him stuff. I guess not. Oh, here's the carpenter. Let's go in here. Hello. Buenos dias. His name's Polo. Ah, yes, you're the alchemist. I'm Polo, and I have a carpentry work around here. I'm sure you've met some of the others in town already. Is everyone treating you well? We don't get newcomers that often. Uh, let's talk. Let's do our chat. Joke. Oh, he did not like the joke, and he did not like the chat. Goodbye. Gramophone, a thousand. Pantry, 600. So this is probably like nooks in a way. We can buy stuff here here, like for furniture and everything. That's pretty cool. So there's another bridge over here. Oh, it looks like this is the fishing guy down here. Oh, one of these flag thingies. We'll take those. And we got a fuzzball. I know our spirits like those. Hello. Tobin. Uh, you come from far away, aren't you? Welcome, welcome. We've been waiting for such a long time. I'd offer to make you tea, but kettle's broke. Where's my manners? I'm Tobin, T-O-B-I-N. As by the catch is the fish, they say. Lovely to meet you. I've got a little request for you. I've been helping people out all over. So I've heard tales of rare fish living in the most distant islands. I love to see them someday. If you catch any, could you sell them to me? Put them all in my trophy case for you to see. Risking my life for fish? Yeah, sounds great. <laughs> I love that. See you, chump. See you, chump. Now, I got some type of thing. I think we completed one of these uh, things. Sell a copper mine. Oh, zero out of ten. So we got to sell them, not give them. So we're missing Cleo, Zed, and Ophelia. So there's still a few more people around about this area. Yeah, this island's pretty cool. Oh, this is cool. This is a really nice house. Oh, can't go in their house yet. Okay. I wonder if it's like Stardew Valley. We're at the end of the night everyone just goes into the pubs got a fuzzball keep getting all these like flowers the flag flowers oh i found some stuff a blue gemstone and some money i like money i'll take it can be sold for coins okay so it's just a item that we can sell that's cool though i wonder if we can give it to anyone i don't know if they'll like it Ooh, another bag up here Ooh, a yellow gemstone and we got some more coins i'm loving this game that's cool there's like all these hidden little things on the ground so it's definitely makes it like worth exploring oh it looks like there's a cave down over here go check that out oh before we do coffee shop coffee Coffee shop or not. Wow, there's just so much. I'm keep getting distracted with everything. I guess maybe we could go. Oh, it's like a hot spring. This heals us up. Just like in Stardew Valley when you go in the hot springs. That's awesome. Of course, she goes in there with all of her clothes on. That makes sense. What's in here? Is this just the cavern? Um, I'm getting out of here. I'm not talking to that. I am not messing with that early on. Yeah, like I was saying before, this game is really good. I just really wish that they had some type of thing for controller. I'm pretty sure they will by the time of release. But yeah, at least for the demo, keyboard and mouse. It's, it's not too bad. I just don't play too much with keyboard and mouse, so that's why I'm not used to it. It's the single most boring sentence I ever heard. All right, so it's 4.20 and 4.30 now. Let's see if there's anyone at the tavern or anyone new we haven't met yet. Oh, here's a dude down here we haven't met. Come here. No, 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 no. Don't run away. Don't run away. Zed. Oh, hello. You must be the new alchemist everyone was talking about. I've always wanted to see an alchemist. Virgilia in real life. Wow. Nice to meet you. I am Professor Zed. I run the science center. You should drop by when you've seen a few spirits. I'd love to talk research with you. Oh, before I forget. Get one more thing. I just so happens to have recently awarded a grant to study spirits that inhabit outer islands. It's pretty dangerous work and let's just say I'm in more of lab kind of science. So if you're up for it, I was thinking we could help each other out. You can turn in your findings to me at the lab anytime and I'll hand her the boring academic bits. As a thank you, I'll Apollo draw up some blueprints for a spirit barn which you can use to house spirits and you'll get credit. I'm gonna need to write this all down. Yep, so we did our little talking. Goodbye. Alright, let's go into the tavern. See if anyone else is in here. Yeah, I don't see anyone new in here but it looks like everyone does have like a standard routine of going places. It's sort of like Stardew Valley. Everyone has like, oh, I'm going to be in this place from this time. And then they go to the pub or something. So yeah, we made enough cloth because we needed fiber. So we made one balloon. So we crafted the balloon. But let's go ahead and head back up to our house. We got some stuff we got to sell. We can make some good money tonight. So let's sell all of our fiber. We can always get more of that. Let's sell this thingy. Oh, the yellow one's worth 10 coins. Okay. So the rest of our stones. Okay, so we completed that for Osno. Let me see if these uh, copper ores count. No, so we have to take them right over to them. Okay. All right, but let's go ahead and head into our house. We got some good stuff today. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and put it on the next day though. So we made 97 gold. Not too bad. The copper ores are worth 10 apiece. Coal's worth 5. The fiber's worth 2 apiece and the stones are worth 5 apiece. So not too bad. 97 gold. We'll take it. And it's raining again. Even better. All right, let's go into the mines today though. Let's try to get some of that copper that we need. Oh, we got some iron. Okay, I'll take that. But 
if you guys are enjoying this game, let me know in the comments down below if this is something you're going to pick up. I'd love to know. And if you guys want to see more gameplay when this game is released, also let me know. Oh, there's a chest down here. Oh, that's so cool. Let's get the chest. Oh, wow. Look, we got a bunch of stuff. Holy moly. We only need three more copper. Let's go ahead and eat some of this food, though. So, yeah, these orange rocks are the ones that have the copper. So we need to break all these. You just need one more piece of copper. A few minutes later. Yeah, and then let's go to the blacksmith now that we got enough. And we'll sell them the copper ores. And then that's how we can teach us new stuff. That was so cool. I can't believe we found a chest in there. So that's that dude's observatory, it looks like. That was over here. Okay. So I was going to say, we didn't go over there in the map. So I just wanted to check that out. All right, here's the blacksmith. Let's go ahead and sell them the copper ores. I don't mind eating cooked fish, but I absolutely could not prepare them myself. Yuck. Sell. There we go. I'll take that as yes. Thank you so much. Here, take this crafting recipe for a furnace as a welcome gift. I run the forge here, but you'll need your own furnace to smelt metal and ore into ingots. My forge is way too expensive to rent out. Sorry. Oh, and if you bring me, let's see, three iron ingots, I'll teach you to make charms too. Sorry, I know that's a lot of stuff to dump on you but right now, but no rush. Just trying to help a newcomer. Yeah, so we actually do have enough. I sold all of them. Okay, I guess not. Green gemstone's only worth one. Give a gift. Let's give her this green gemstone. Oh, thanks. Let's talk. Let's get increase our stuff. Awesome. We still only have half a heart, but we've been increasing with her quite a bit. So to craft a furnace, we need 10 stone and 10 wood. Okay, that's not too bad. But I did sell off all of those iron ingots. Or oh, no, wait, do we have to make iron ingots? Oh, ingots. I just sold our iron. Pfft, I'm not the smartest. You are one pathetic loser. Well, let's go back up to our house and craft a furnace. We'll get some wood up there. And probably the coal we'll need to smelt with stuff, so that's nice. <laughs> We can make a furnace. Awesome. All right, we'll put it there. So it looks like we can just put all of our coal in there. So we'll go ahead and do that. So we need a total of three ore to make at least one ingot. Let's go down here and let's see if we can get some more iron. I don't know if we can or not, but let's try it out. We got to eat some stuff because we're almost dead for energy. If I would have known that we had to make those into ingots, uh, we would have probably already had at least like two bars. All right, there we go. We got some iron finally. 20 minutes later. We got enough little pieces of iron. Let's go ahead and smelt these up. Oh, okay. So it takes a couple of hours for it to finish. Okay, that's good to know. All right, we can sell off some of the stuff we got. What I wish it did have, though, is like a progress bar for like the smelting and stuff to show you how far it's along. Maybe that's something that they'll add to the game, but right now they don't have anything for that. Let's see if we can meet any of the other locals down here. Let's see if we can do that. Yeah, I don't know if any of them will be here at the tavern. Let's check it out. Oh, here we go. Ophelia. Ah, the alchemist. Oh, told me you have arrived in style. I'm Ophelia, though. You might hear some people call me Lena. I'm the botanist in town. I whip up cures in alleys then. Them. I suppose you'll be doing that too. All right, let's just talk. All right, she didn't like any of them except for the last time we talked. Oh, Cleo, those clothes, you're an alchemist. I'm so glad you arrived at last. Perhaps a little behind the schedule, but no matter, you're here now. I'm Cleo, and I'm Moonstone's resident historian and scholar. Any question you have, come to me first. Oh, well, that's cool. Hey, thanks for collecting those stones for me. The basements never look better. Here's something for your troubles. Okay, we got 500 gold. Wow. Oh, there was something else I wanted to ask you. Have you checked out the dungeon yet? Yeah, I did. I was thinking we'd go inside for a while. It's full of wild spirits but that kind of seems like your thing. I heard there's treasure and stuff in there too. Thanks, will do. Oh, okay, so we can buy coffee. Increases your speed, 10% for one day. Decreases walk, dish of the day. Effects may vary, okay. So that's cool. I'm glad that the coffee lasts like the whole day. It's not like Stardew Valley for where it's just like a small time frame. All right, but let's go ahead and head back to our house. Had a pretty good day so far. And I believe one of the iron ingots should be done so we could put another one in here. There we go. All right, pretty good day. We made a little bit of money. Let's go ahead and put it on the next day. Oh, wait, wait. There's a ghost in here. Hello? Where'd you go? I was about to go to sleep and then there was a ghost. I couldn't interact with them. Okay. That was interesting. So we unlock different things. We got one for forging. 50% chance that crops will drop coins when cut down. All right. Intimidating process. Okay. All right. We made 165 gold. Not too bad. Well, I think this is a great place to end it, guys. It was really cool checking out this game. Like I said, it's basically Stardew Valley and Pokemon combined. If you guys want to see more gameplay, we still have nine more days we can play in this game before the demo ends. So if you guys want to see a part two, please let me know. I really enjoy this game. It is a lot of fun. Be sure to share this out to people that play a lot of Stardew Valley. I think it's a game that's going to go under the radar, but let's try to blow this up and make it as popular as ever. But thank you guys again so much for watching. And as always, peace.